Hey, good day YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today we're looking at the new version, the 2014 edition, of the Innocent Gun Canadian Cherrywood Finish. So we did this last year, we did it over a four weeks period. Uh, we took it when it very first landed at Canada, and we did it every week for four weeks. Um, I really, really enjoyed this. This year it's 7.4% alcohol, last year it was what, 8.2, 8.4? Somewhere between 8.2 and 8.5. I don't remember the exact number. This limited bottling of the Nissan Gun has been matured over Canadian black cherry wood and then finished with the addition of maple syrup. To our knowledge, this is the first time that cherry wood has been used to mature a beer. The result is a really. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, well, like Nick said, that's not entirely true because you used it for the beer last year, but I mean, in, in reality, it is true at the same time because you are talking about the exact same beer. Uh, this one does not come in a box, it's just out on the shelf like this. Uh, I don't know that person's name. Uh, somebody in the company always gets to sign their name, and I was just looking to see if it was somebody I knew. I don't know that one. Matured for 49 days. Let's give it a drink, shall we? Ooh, it resealed itself. There we go. So, we got the bass glass out. We could have used the uh, innocent gun glasses, but then I have another dirty glass. Who wants a second dirty glass? Not this guy. Okay, so we were able to see the beautiful color before I put it in the bottle. Well, before I put it in the glass, but there you go. It's that beautiful brassy uh, auburnish color. Nice little head. Looks very nice. Very good visual appeal. Smell? Mm. Ooh, actually. You get the toffee and the vanilla that you expect, but um, you're getting some caramel, you're getting a bit of the cherry wood, you're getting a bit of the maple syrup. All in all, they're all mixing, mixing together to actually almost smell like a barley wine. Uh, you know what it actually reminds me of? Smell-wise, it reminds me of... Uh, is the bottle over here still? It isn't. Uh, the Sammy Claus Classic. The Sammy Claus Classic. It just has that toffee, butterscotch, vanilla, maple, uh, wood. Uh, all it's really missing to be really, really amazing smelling is coconut! Even had some fucking coconut! Hey, Joe? Hey, Joe? Cheers, guys. Let's try it. Okay. So, for me, not nearly as complex or different as last year's. Still very easy drinking, very easy drinking. This is actually more approachable. Um, one thing I'd give this is that it is much more approachable for the average drinker. It wouldn't be something that the average drinker would be turned away by. Also, it is closer to Innocent Gun Original. So for people that love Innocent Gun Original and don't like venturing out, this is a lot closer to the original with some subtle differences. Uh, a little lighter bodied for me, a little less vanilla and butterscotch, a little more uh, sweetness, the sweetness coming from the from the maple. And you were getting some nice cherry wood like flavors. Uh, for those of you that have ever used cherry cherry wood in your barbecues or smokers, you were getting some of those nice cherry wood flavors last year. This year, not so much. But again, very nice, easy drinking beer. Basically, a lighter mouth feel, slightly sweeter, less toffeed Innocent Gun Original. Is it good? Oh, hell yeah, it's good. Is it, um, to me, worth going to this instead of Innocent Gun Original now? No, if I had the choice between the two, I'd go Innocent Gun Original. If I had the choice between these two plus the uh, Cherrywood Finish of 2013, I'd jump on the Cherrywood Finish 2013. But again, that's me. You might love this, you might hate it. It doesn't matter. Let me know what you think. Uh, again, for me, just not, not in the cards. It's, it's not what I want to drink 
it's unfortunate. But uh, out of 10, you know what, I, I would probably say a 6.75. Uh, Taste-wise, it deserves an 8, but I'm going to put it at 6.75 because I could, buy the, I could buy the original for a cheaper price than this and enjoy it just as much. <coughs> so, taste-wise, deserves an 8. Uh, overall, product-wise, I'm going to give it a 6.75. It's a really good product, it just, uh, it's lost something. It's lost a step. I loved last year's. So, making this just makes me sad. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.